Hi Taurus, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are currently connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your person's current energy towards you, Taurus. Let's see. Here we go. Spirit angels and guides, please show me what is this person's current energy towards Taurus? Whoever it is that Taurus is currently connecting to and dealing with and love. What is this person's current energy towards Taurus? Let's get one shuffle. All right. What is this person's current energy towards Taurus? First card we have is the Six of Pentacles. Okay. We also have the Seven of Cups in their energy towards you. And we also have the King of Pentacles in their energy towards you at the bottom of the deck. Knight of Pentacles, Chariot, and the Temperance card. And here is Justice. Justice, the Sun, and the King of Wands, and the Emperor. So this is very similar to the Aries reading. Some of you might also resonate with the Aries reading, even if you don't have anything in Aries. Okay. That definitely happens sometimes. But I definitely feel like this is someone who is wanting to take action towards you. Yeah, they want to take action towards you because they want to regain control. They feel like they've lost control of you and of this relationship or a connection with you, and they want to regain control of the relationship. Justice card. Hmm. So I want to see what that means exactly, because I'm not sure what that means. What does that mean? Six of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Chariot, and the um, Temperance. All right, let me clarify this energy just to figure out what exactly is this person talking about. Spirit, tell me about the Knight of Pentacles to the Chariot. Hmm. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So it kind of looks, sorry, I just got a message. I just, it kind of looks like this person wasn't being very clear with you or wasn't being very invested in you. They weren't investing them their, their time and energy into you. If they were, it was very little. It's like minimal. So yeah, it kind of looks like with the Seven of Cups, this person was keeping um, things up in the air between the two of you, you know? So, so they were being very distant and they weren't communicating much with you. They were just kind of in this energy of isolation the majority of the time with the King of Pentacles, very isolated, just focused on their work, career, finances. And they just, they weren't pouring a lot of energy into the relationship with you. So they were kind of creating confusion and um, giving off mixed signals. But that's something that they want to fix because we do have the temperance card, which is all about, you know, kind of like fixing things. Um, they want to come towards you with a lot more clarity with the sun card. They want to come towards you to
to give you clarity. They want to they wanna make their intentions uh, more known with you. Hmm. All right, tell me about the Knight of Pentacles to the Chariot. In their energy towards Taurus. Why the Knight of Pentacles to the Chariot? So they're not feeling so confused anymore. They're not feeling so indecisive anymore because they that's how they were feeling they were feeling indecisive before now they feel like they know more more clearly what they want all right we have the seven of swords tell me more about the knight of pentacles to the chariot we also have the ace of wands tell me about the knight of pentacles to the chariot tell me more and we have the Magician card. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of looks like this is someone who's like ready to chase you. Magician and the Ace of Wands, they're ready to chase you now. They weren't ready to chase you before. Because it kind of looks like they were dealing with a lot of stuff outside of you. Um, with the Seven of Cups. But it looks like now... Now they're ready to chase you. Now they feel like they, they're, they're more available to invest in this relationship with you or to pour energy into this relationship with you. All right. I'm going to go to your side real quick. Um, and oh, ooh, Let's see the Seven of Cups, though. Spirit, tell me about the Seven of Cups connected to this person's energy. This is not a nice combination, by the way. Seven of Swords to the Magician. Um, I'm not going to say a lot yet because I don't. I want to get the full picture, but this is not a good combination. When these two show up together, that's an energy of manipulation. So I see what this person do, is doing. They want to they wanna reel you back in, but they're not going to be honest with you. They're going to give you clarity, but it's going to be some sort of uh, manip manipulated truth, you know? They're going to give you the clarity that they think best suits them that will best favor them. They're going to give you the, and what I mean by clarity, I mean truth. They're going to give you the truth that best um, favors them. So they're not going to tell you the real reason why they've been distant and um, MIA, you know, for some of you, and wishy-washy. They're not going to tell you the real reason they're going to tell you something else. Something that's not the truth. But something that they feel is going to favor them more. In, in the sense that, you know, you won't get angry with them. Or, you know, it, it won't raise red flags for you. Hmm, I see. What was I going to do? Oh, Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Cups spirit connected to their energy. Yeah, uh, we do have the Two of Wands here connected to the Seven of Cups. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to say this. I definitely feel like this person was um, indecisive here between two people, between you and somebody else. Yeah. I do get that pretty strongly. For some of you, um, especially with these cards, Seven of Swords, King of Wands, you know, King of Wands is someone who has options, who always has options, you know. Male or female, doesn't have to be a man, could be a woman, but it's someone who's very attractive and 
someone who is very like charismatic and they just easily attract people and they usually have multiple options. But with the two of wands and the seven of cups, I definitely get, and the six of pentacles, which is a relationship. This person was in between two relationships. They were indecisive between two relationships, you and somebody else. But it kind of looks like now they're in this energy of feeling more confident about pursuing you over whoever else they were considering. Okay. What do I want to do? I, would, I was going to do so. Okay, Taurus. Let's look at your energy now. And then I'll, I'll come back to them. Let me see what your energy is. All right. All right, here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Taurus towards this person. What is Taurus's current energy towards this person, please? Taurus's current energy towards this person, please. All right, your energy towards them, Taurus. We have the Ace of Cups. What is Taurus's energy towards this person? We also have the King of Swords. Okay, tell me more. What is Taurus's energy towards this person? And we also have ooh, the Knight of Wands. Going on with you, Taurus. At the bottom of the deck, page of cups, to the chariot, to the justice. Look at this energy overwhelming you. Ace of Wands. Look at that. Ace of Wands, Justice, Chariot. All of these cards are the same that this person has. Um, hmm. And you just have a very singular energy. Your energy's your energy is singular. I don't know why. Strength to the star to the four of cups. All right, well, let's clarify you then. You're just showing up here as uh, one energy. Let's see what's going on with you. I'm gonna clarify. So um, double confirmation that this person is definitely um, uh, pursuing you or thinking about pursuing you, desiring to pursue you. Um, also, Ace of Wands. There's a lot of uh, attraction energy and a lot of kind of like sexual energy coming from this person heavily. They're very physically attracted to you um, predominantly. Yeah, predominantly. Yeah, and they definitely have their eye on you with the Ace of Cups. This is someone who's kind of like targeting you, you know, like, like I'm going to get Taurus, you know, just you watch, just you watch. I'm going to get Taurus. It's like they're making it their mission. They're making it their mission to, to I don't know, to like, honestly, to trap you. It feels like a trap. to seduce you, you know? Okay. What is this King of Swords connected to Taurus's energy? Come on, Taurus, give me something, please. You're barely showing up here. You're barely showing up. Let's see. Spirit, clarify the King of Swords and Taurus's energy towards this person. Oh, you see, you're, you see what I'm telling you? You're barely giving me anything at all. Look at that, the moon. You're keeping your, your energy a secret. Hmm. Tell me more about the King of Swords connected to Taurus's energy towards this person. So you're heavily shielding your energy. Heavily, heavily shielding 
your energy and um, locking your energy. Okay. From this person. From this person. Okay. Tell me more about the King of Swords and towards his energy towards this person. Uh, we have the Tower card. Oh. So you think this person is um, a disaster? You feel. Okay. The Moon card is about feelings. You feel that this person is a disaster. This person is drama. This person is chaos. This person is just going to disrupt your life. Negatively disrupt your life. Oh, okay. Interesting. Tell me more about the King of Swords. Connected to Taurus's energy towards this person. And we also have the Three of Pentacles. Mm. So some of you tried. You tried to work with this person with the three of pentacles you try to work things out with them or you try to collaborate with them and get on the same page with them and compromise with them but with the tower card it just it didn't work out okay hmm Bottom of the deck, Taurus's energy towards this person, uh, Nine of Pentacles, to the Two of Cups, to the Temperance card. All right, Taurus, let me just get your feelings here. Your energy is co complicated here. How does Taurus feel about this person? I'm going to read this in a second. Let me just look at your feelings first, and then I'll read it. How does Taurus feel about this person? What are Taurus's feelings for them? Current feelings for them, spirit. Your feelings for them, we have the Four of Swords to the Seven of Cups, yeah, okay. To the Three of Wands in your feelings. Yeah, this person left you hanging in some way, yeah. Seven of Cups and the Three of Wands. There's something about this person left you like hanging or like they, they left things up in the air. They left you feeling confused. You didn't know where you stood with them. You didn't know what they, what they really wanted with you or where this relationship was headed. Seven of wands, six of wands, six of cups. Okay. Taurus, I am seeing emotion here. We do have six of cups and the two of cups. So it does look like your emotions for this person were very, very strong. But your disappointment ha is also equally as strong. Basically, it's almost at the same level. So... Right now, the good is not outweighing the bad. It's the reverse. The bad at this point is outweighing the good. Because if, because if your disappointment is just as strong as your feelings for them, then it's basically, it's basically the equivalent of there's more bad than good. especially with the tower card. There's more bad than good. So I do see you in your feelings um, rejecting this person, seven of wands and the six of wands. You're rejecting them. You're turning your back to your feelings. The feelings that you have for this person, you're turning your back to those feelings. You're not letting yourself feel anything. You, you've turned cold, basically, King of Swords. You, you've turned into a block of ice. I don't know what happened. It kind of looks like your priority right now is to heal. 
heal from this um, relationship and move on and just continue to be independent here with the nine of pentacles because again i get i get something about you tried with the three of pentacles you tried like you try to um get on the same page with this person you try to work with them or to understand them but it kind of looks like no matter what you did this person wasn't wasn't cooperating they just kept they they weren't listening to you right they weren't listening to you or they weren't they weren't taking you into account they weren't taking your thoughts and feelings into account they just kept repeating the same thing over and over again the same issue over and over again so it kind of looks like you got tired you got tired of it hmm. like you got tired of the constant like uncertainty Fe feeling lost feeling lost within this relationship and feeling unstable within this relationship mm -hmm. okay Oh, hmm. look at anything about this moon and the tower spirit. I'm just curious. What's the moon and the tower? Hmm. Let's see. Page of Swords. King of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you're kind of in this energy of what do you want, like. What do you want? Why are you talking to me? Why are you contacting me? Like, it's kind of like you're in this energy of, I tried, I did my best, it didn't work, and it's over. I'm ready to move on. Yeah, you're ready to move on. You're definitely overcoming your feelings here because you do have strong feelings for this person, but you're, you're overcoming your feelings. You don't feel like this person deserves you. They just don't deserve you. There's no, there's no equality here. You feel like this person doesn't meet you halfway. They don't meet you halfway. They don't work together with you. Mm. Let me see. All right. That's your energy. So let me go back to this person real quick. Now, for some of, for some of you, this person was in between two people. Um, but uh, for others of you, it's not necessarily two people. Um, just because I'm reading your energy here now. I'm reading your energy with their energy. So... For some of you, it's two people. For others of you, this person wasn't sure if they wanted to actually be in a commitment, be in an actual relationship with someone, or just if they just wanted to like keep to themselves and be, be single. That, that's uh, a doubt that they were battling with. Do I want to be in a relationship? Do I want to settle down with someone? Do I truly want to do that? Or, or do I just want to, you know, continue being, you know, independent and on my own and single? Let me clarify that. All right. I think I'm done with you, by the way. I mean, honestly, I feel like there's a lot more to your energy, Taurus, because I feel like your energy is a little bit like... I don't know, it feels like a volcano a little bit. It just feels like there's a lot of, there's a lot in your energy. There's a lot in your energy. But it's kind of like you don't even want to touch on it, you know? I feel like you're really, want, you're really trying to just not remember it, the past or think about the past. 
So you're you're hurt basically. Yeah, you're you're very hurt. You're very hurt. I feel like you are you know experiencing a lot of pain deep down inside that you're trying to heal and and get over and move on from. Yeah, you you do feel betrayed. It's like you feel betrayed or you feel let down. It's it stings. Whatever this person did, it it stings. Mm. What was I new? Oh, King of Pentacles. So tell me about this King of Pentacles connected to their energy, this person's energy towards Taurus. Why the King of Pentacles? Oh, I see what they're doing. They're coming towards you with excuses is what they're doing. They probably did this already. They probably did this already. They've already come towards you before with excuses. And I feel like they're doing it again. But with the Sun card, they might come up with more creative, you know, excuses. More creative. What's the King of Pentacles? Five of Swords to the Hermit card. To the, you see, King of Cups. This person does have feelings for you. We do have the King of Cups. Did you show up as the Queen of Cups? I'm not sure, I don't remember. No, you have the Two of Cups. Yeah, okay. But yeah, this person definitely has feelings for you. But with the Hermit card and the Five of Swords, this person wasn't being available for you. They weren't making themselves fully available. They were giving you the bare minimum. They were giving you the bare minimum. And I do feel like this person has some deep issues with the hermit card here. This person definitely has some deep, deep seated issues of trust, you know, deep trust issues and deep traumas from their past. That is still affecting them in the in the present. So the way this person acts with you, it, it has nothing to do with you. It has to do with the fact that this person is still stuck on their traumas from from their past. And they just haven't matured. They haven't matured yet to the point of you know being able to objectively understand their past and make peace with their past and, and move on. They haven't made peace with their past. They're still not at that maturity level yet, if that makes sense. So unfortunately with the Five of Swords, I feel like this person, they make a lot of bad decisions, you know? They make a lot of like, they take a lot of bad actions and they self-sabotage. But and it comes from a place of recklessness, you know, like just inst instability that they have inside of them. You know, emotional instability, mental instability that that exists inside of them. They don't know how to properly handle their grief. They don't know how to properly handle their grief and their their pain from their past. So they they hurt they hurt you and they hurt other people. Because I'm sure you're not the only one who's been hurt by this person. I can tell. You know. I can tell. Anyway, what am I gonna do now? I was going to do something. All right, let's take a look at this person's um, intentions and actions. Uh, feelings, intentions, and actions. Yeah, we can put this away. Um, what do I want to do? I'm going to get these cards. Yeah, let me clean these up. I'll take these and this. Okay. Keep that one, I'll take this one, and I'll take this one. Actually, keep this one here. All right. Let's see. All 
All right, here we go. Spirit, what are this person's... Um, I'm not sure if I want to ask their feelings. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Let's just ask it, because if I'm wondering, then that means I should ask. Spirit, what are this person's true feelings for Taurus currently? What are this person's true feelings for Taurus currently? What are this person's true feelings for Taurus currently? And their true feelings for you, we do have the star card. So this person is wishing for you. You know, there's there's an issue with this person. I, I'm already seeing it, Taurus. This person um, does a lot of wishful thinking, but they don't do um, a lot of like, they don't take a, a substantial actions, you know? They spend their time more doing wishful thinking than actually taking action to manifest the things that they want for themselves, if that makes sense. Because it's like they're too scared. They're too scared to, um, to step out of their comfort zone. It's that type of energy here. Hmm. Tell me more about um, this person's true feelings for Taurus. What are this person's true feelings for Taurus? They definitely feel a really intense connection with you. Very intense connection with you. But this is someone who's second guessing themselves, constantly second guessing themselves. All right, we have the Queen of Wands. They're very attracted to you. They, they find you to be very beautiful or handsome. Male or female doesn't, it's not gender specific, but they, they find you very attractive. Very, very attractive. And very like hypnotizing, you know, cause it's next to the star. So very hypnotizing person. That's how they see you. Tell me more about this person's true feelings for Taurus. Um, and then we have here the strength card. <coughs> All right, sorry. So you definitely have the confidence that this person lacks. That's how they're viewing you. They're viewing you as someone who's very secure in your, in your own energy. You're very confident. You're very um, independent. You know your worth, you know your value and that's what makes them really attracted to you because that's what they lack um, themselves. You know, you have the, the confidence and the security that they lack and that's why they're drawn to you. Okay, let's see what their intentions are. The strength, I'm going to say you also, you have the strength, like strength and character, strength and character that, that they lack. All right. What are this person's um, intentions with Taurus spirit? What are this person's current intentions with Taurus? In their intentions, currently we have the Eight of Swords. Like I said, this person is just plagued with a lot of fears and traumas and, you know, personal issues that that make them feel like they like they're not capable or like they're not good enough to to manifest the things that they want or to have the things that they want. Tell me more about their intentions currently with Taurus. Yeah, there we go. We have the devil card, Taurus. So devil and the eight of swords. Okay, 
So you're dealing with someone who keeps going around and around in circles, repeating the same patterns, you know, repeating the same patterns, repeating the same mistakes, same energy over and over again. They're just so fixed, you know, they're just so fixed in, in, in their own negativity, you know, in their own pessimistic mindset. They just don't, they just can't seem to break out of it. This person might um, suffer from like addictions, um, drugs potentially, or um, alcohol or something else. There's something about this person having a very, um, a, a personality that's prone to addictions. I also feel like they're just addicted to being pessimistic, you know? Like they're attached to, to constantly being pessimistic. They're attached to that. Almost, it's almost like they don't want to change, you know? Okay. So in their intentions with the devil card, you know, they want you, right? This is like the, a desire, the energy of desire, especially with these cards over here. Um, they, they want to possess you, you know? This is possessive energy. That's their intentions, to possess you. All right, what's their actions moving forward? Uh-oh, my camera's about to turn off. Let's see, let me finish this quickly. What actions will this person take towards Taurus moving forward, Spirit? What actions will this person be taking towards Taurus moving forward? What actions? In their actions, we do have the lovers, so they are gonna take actions towards you towards you to reconnect with you. What actions will they take towards Taurus moving forward? Ten of Wands. And the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Star, there it is again with the Two of Cups. There it is and the Strength card. And look at that, the Queen of Cups with the Devil card and the Eight of Cups here. Yeah, so yeah, this person feels like they're in love with you, like you're the one for them, and their actions will be to try to reconcile with you and to try to get you back. But just keep in mind, Taurus, that I don't see that this person has made any significant changes. I feel like more than likely you're going to experience what you've already experienced with them, okay, which is a lot of conflict and instability here. So Taurus, I hope this reading helped you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.